Hello everyone, it is Mr. Step Step. I'm back again with another TCG player order video. This one should be shorter, just a couple orders to go over. This is my first one that came today. I'll have delivery times, order times down below, as well as all the prices for cards that are over a dollar and their conditions no matter what. And yeah, I never expected these videos. These are my like most popular every week videos that I post because I do openings, I do value discussions on certain sets, and then I do these. And these are routinely for the past couple of months have been the most popular videos. So Please, you know, leave feedback down below if you like these or if you want these to change slightly. But yeah, just go over my orders. So this one, they wrapped it in the invoice. As these orders, if the orders are smaller, then that probably means that I got a lot more valuable cards within the orders. So not just a bunch of commons and uncommons. So, and then that also means I'm probably getting close to completing a set. Oh, this is, oh, they put it in one of them fat top loaders and then a bunch of cards in the same sleeve so i know a lot of people do not like that method in a big top loader we'll see how the conditions come out based on what i ordered but we'll see definitely mixed reviews on that but yeah putting a bunch in one sleeve so we'll start out with the team yell grunt the secret rare seems to be in very beautiful condition this was the one that was on the front from sword and shield base we'll check out the back get the sun on all that it's actually raining right now there's it seems to be a little nick in the bottom people were saying that oh kind of like a little nick right there too but obviously he wasn't planning on getting this one graded or anything it was a nice shiny card though butterfree v check out that surface looks to be all right looks to be all right darkness ablaze once again these are two sets that i'm trying to complete the master set of this one actually looks to be pretty good overall uh, maybe a little something at the top, but overall not too bad. Very pleased. We have the Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Wow. That one's really shiny. Darkness of Blaze as well. Actually, you know, I think the regular full arts have been doing a lot better than the Rainbow Rares. I think people are starting to phase out Rainbow Rares or Secret Rares. I don't think a lot of them are liking them as much, especially with all these alternate arts. But you got that diamond pattern in the background. It's not bad. We have some Shining Legends cards, Reverse Holo Pikachu. I'm only missing one more Reverse Holo from this set, so all I'll have left is Ultra Rares and Higher, which I'm very close to completing this set. Not bad overall. And then the final card for this part is the Mewtwo GX Full Art. So definitely throwback to Sun and Moon. Their Full Arts were definitely differently, definitely different. This is personally one of my, if not my favorite Mewtwo artwork of all time. And I still have yet to get the rainbow one of this, so that will be a massive purchase in the near future. But yeah, beautiful card. Glad to add it to my collection. I'll see you guys in the next part. And we're back with the second of two parts. This envelope feels pretty solid. I'm excited to see what's on the inside. Ah, they did the tape to the inside and then did a weird taping thing to the cards i don't know it was it was weird i think they just wanted to be kind of silly with it let's see if i can maneuver this properly so it does open easily but then this crap like gets in the way of the actual sleeve that it's on oh jeez. Ooh, so I will give them, they did put them all in their own individual sleeves, which is nice, but I just hate the feeling of them being like really difficult to pull out of a top loader, because then I feel like I'm damaging the card. But this is the last reverse hollow that I need from Sword and Shield Base. So very happy. Hopefully I didn't bend this or anything. <clears throat> very happy to add that to my collection. And this is the last reverse hollow I need from Shining Legends. So very nice to get this order in. Look to be in good condition. Just making sure there's no, I don't know if there's anything down there. Yeah, looks to be solid. And then we got some more secret rares, it looks like. Oh man, the gold cards, they're just, there's something else. They really are. I mean, look at that shine. Just wonderful. Not very good at like seeing the, the flaws in cards like this when they have so much glitter on them, but check out the back. Back looks good too. Nice. And then a Professor's Research, the secret rare version of it. Very nice card. Has kind of like circles and ovals and other oblong shapes in the background. But a very nice card. 
Got to give some granny some love too. Or just older woman, I guess. But yeah. So hopefully this was a shorter video for y'all. For y'all, Some slightly bigger hitters than normal. Um, I think you guys will be happy not to see any more XY base set. And then at least reverse hollows for now. There should be a lot less because I've pretty much gotten all the reverse hollows that I need from sets that I'm currently collecting. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have. If I haven't shown it already, I'll show the updated numbers. Shouldn't be too many updates because didn't get very many cards in this opening. But if it's your second video of mine, consider subscribing. If you like what you saw, leave a like. And if you don't like what you saw, give me some feedback down below on how I can improve these videos. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I will lead you guys right into the recap. Thank you. This is